First, let me say this is not a professional video. I'm recording this uh, mostly for myself, so I have a reference that I can look back on in the future when I need to do this process again. Anyway, I'm upscaling a feature film I shot in 2008. It's an untitled Michelle Nichols project. We're taking it from the original shot on 720p and upscaling it to 4K. Uh, first off, I'm running a MacBook Pro, uh, 64 gigabytes of memory, M1 Max, um, Sonoma 14.2.1. Uh, make sure your display is set up to be in 3456 by 2160 or higher. You want to be looking at this in 4K so that you know that you've got your upscaling done correctly. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to Topaz Video AI. I'm going to launch that. I'm going to look through my files and find the scene that I want to upscale. So here we are uh, in Topaz. I'm going to find a shot that I want to look at and upscale. Uh, right around right around here. Okay. Um, one thing I'm going to do is let's expand this and enter full screen mode and <clears throat> put this tab down here. We're going to put it on uh, this button, whatever it's called, which allows you to slide back and forth between two different views. So my original is here on the left, as you can see, and the enhancement I'm going to do will be here on the right. So my first step is to come up here and go to Output Resolution, and I'm going to do a 2x upscale. I find that you have to upscale it in steps. My first upscale and export process will be from 720p to 1920 by 1440. We'll export that completely, then re-import it into the program and upscale again. I've gone through every model every AI model here for an under enhancement. I've gone through every one of these and every time I do the upscaling the AI gives me different results. So what I have to do or what I do do and what uh, you might want to do is I come down here start with Proteus. I only use the auto parameter no matter how much I try to beat the auto Occasionally, I've been able to come up with some results that are better, but in general, I just use auto. And I also, I don't use second enhancement. Um, I only do a single enhancement for each upscale. So I come in here, I've got my preview on one second, and then I just hit preview. It'll take a minute. Um... And uh, if you look at your bar here, it does give you some indication whether or not it's processed. This is a little bug that Topaz has. It says it's not processed, but if I hit this forward arrow, look, lo and behold, it is processed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do all these models at once. Um, but in general, what you do is zoom in all the way and you can see what the results are hopefully you're able to see this on YouTube but it's cleaned up the image it just looks a whole lot better okay so I'm gonna go down to from Proteus I'm gonna go down to iris face I'm gonna start with low quality I'm gonna hit the preview button and then watch right here Sometimes you can see this little progress bar that's very hard to see, and then boom, it's done. So, so that's actually 
processed, even though the right-hand side is saying not processed. Uh, I know the program so well that I'm just going to move on to the next one. I'm going to change my Iris LQMQ, low quality, medium quality, to medium quality. And then I'm going to hit the preview button again. I mean, this vi video is not going to be too exciting. You may want to fast forward to it. That's what I usually do. I put it on like 2x speed and go for it or uh, whatever. Okay, so I, I saw the little progress bar jump. Now I'm going to my next mode, which is Nix. Nix, although it really kills the noise, um, usually uh, give, gives me a very plasticky result. Uh, the images look plasticky and fake, almost cartoonish. Uh, if I do use Nix, uh, I put it in at a very low level. There's a progress bar right there. You can see it, and it's done. Put it in at like very like 10%, and it just cleans it. It really just kills the noise. Now my Nix Fast hasn't been working. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Nix Fast preview. Is it going to work for us this time? That I don't know. I'm gonna uh, jump forward one frame by hitting my right hand arrow on my keyboard. And it gives me an error message. So next fast is still not working. Uh, okay, so next I go to Artemis, denoise, desharpen. And I, I go through every one of these settings. Artemis, high quality, preview. Watch my little progress bar. Boom, it's done. Would be great if that showed up processed, even though it is processed, but it doesn't show you processed. Medium quality, preview. And that's kind of it. You can skip forward. I just go through every one of these parameters and models, low quality, preview. And there, it's done. Now, I don't do medium halo, strong halo, or aliasing or moire because I don't have those issues with my film. Uh, so I go to Gaia, Gaia upscale, high quality, Hit the preview button, wait for the progress bar to come across. Do, 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 do. And I gotta say, this latest version of Topaz, which is 4.1.2, is a lot faster than the older versions. And uh, let's see, input video type, high quality or computer generated. It's not computer generated, so I don't bother with that setting. And then I go to Thea, I don't know how you say that. Thea, Thea, fine tune fidelity. We're going to hit preview. We're going to let the menu bar come across here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I wish you could see that better too. Uh, and then we're going to go to fine tune detail and hit preview. Do, 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 and that's that, and now we're going to go through the painstaking, painful process of examining each one of these frames in detail. So, we already looked at this. Uh, one, one great area to look at is just areas that are blank with nothing in it, like this wall behind the shell here. Um, so uh, I'm in comparison mode, by the way, and we'll see a little bit more about that. You want comparison mode turned on. So anyway, uh, you can see the level of noise on that back wall has been greatly reduced uh, from the 720. And I always go into the eyes. And you can see, I mean, I don't know if you can see that pixelation, but it's pretty severe. The noise in her hair, on her face, the whole thing so much better. Okay, so we know we don't like the original 720p. So I'm going to click 
not in this area, but over here on the left, on the area that says original. And I'm going to put the next enhancement model that we created the preview for down here. I'm going to click on that. It's showing me not processed, but it is processed, so I'm going to click forward one frame. And now we'll be able to compare these two models against each other. So, as you can may or may not see, her eye is a lot sharper with the Proteus version. And I have had different scenes, much with very similar shots uh, that look a lot better in Iris than they do in Proteus. So that's why I have to go through every time and look at these. Now, notice the noise on the back wall is way better in the Iris. Way better. A lot less noise there. Let's just see her face. So it's killing the noise, but losing the detail. And this is the, this is a hard call to make. But I'm going with detail. Uh, one of the reasons I want the detail is because I, already, I, I know I can always clean up the noise later. I can do a single pass uh, either when I get it into DaVinci Resolve with their noise correction, which is what I have been doing because I wind up with an extremely clean image. Um, or I can do it in, in NYX. So anyway, I'm going to say that I'm liking the Proteus better than the Iris LQ. So I'm going to Click over here. I'm going to change this to Iris MQ. And uh, this is always jumping back to, to the uh, non zoomed in shot. If you want it to not jump back, you can use your drop down menu here on the lower right side where it says 400%. And then it's not going to jump back and forth on you. And here, if you look at her eye right there, it is just looking so much clean, so much sharper with Proteus. But that noise on the back wall is, again, it's a little bit worse. Overall, I am liking the Proteus. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to right click on this uh, little tab with the three dots and I'm going to click remove group which will remove the LQ group and then uh, the MQ that we just looked at I'm going to click right click remove group and that is gone okay now here we are in, okay, well, here we are in Nix on the left side. I'm going to click on that. And, yeah, as you can see, a lot less noisy, but here's one issue that you wind up with in a lot of these models. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a distinct, uh, Pixelation or hatch pattern on her face. I can see vertical lines here and diagonal lines, and it looks like somehow the mathematics give you this kind of pixelated or brick like image quality. Not always, but sometimes. And then here in her hair, um, it just starts to look really unnatural, almost like little worm shapes, something to do with the way the math is interpreting all this is just 
really not realistic looking. So we're zoomed in all the way here on her face and you can see all that hatch pattern. I'm not sure. Anyway, looks terrible. So I'm going to delete that group. Remove group. Uh, the next group is uh, except I removed it on the wrong side, so we want to go. I just removed the wrong group, so I'm going to have to do a Proteus again. Proteus and preview. Sorry about that. And it's done. This doesn't know it's done. And so that's Proteus on the right still. And that is uh, Nyx on the left. And we're going to remove the Nyx group. Where's my Proteus group? Proteus. Okay. So we're going to remove Nyx here on the left. Remove group. We're going to remove the Nyx group. Uh, Nyx fast, which has never worked for me. Remove group. I'm going to come down here to Artemis HQ. Click on that and compare that to Proteus. A lot noisier. A little bit more pixelated. I can see in her eyes here, little squares. Um, and the noise here is just terrible. So that one gets eliminated. And then we go to Artemis MQ, again, way noisier, not nearly as nice, so Artemis MQ, remove group, now we'll do Artemis LQ, even worse, remove group, and we'll come here, now we'll try Gaia. HQ and again not as nice as Proteus. This new Proteus model um, has been looking pretty good. Uh, in the last version Iris was looking better on these type of shots but it really Proteus is, is winning now. So this is Gaia HQ remove group uh, Thea Fidelity. Nope. Remove group. Thea Details. A lot more noise and uh, that strange uh, digital artifacting and her hair, remove group, and that leaves us with Proteus. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take this Proteus and export it. Um, uh, I should say that sometimes I will look at other shots. But in this case, I'm not going to um, because I think it was so definitive. So I'm clicking on here down to the export as button. Oh, hold on. Before I do that, I'm going to click on the ProRes, the preview export settings. So I'm exporting as ProRes 4444XQ. 
I want every bit of information that this thing can generate. And I feel like I'm getting more colors out of the enhancement from Topaz than I had in the original footage. I think it's adding colors, especially with these export settings. I don't know if that's true, but uh, that has been uh, the results that I've been seeing when I've closely examined the footage. So I'm going to hit export as over here to my Nat Geo scene. And um, uh, it will tag this with prob 4 on the end, which is the Proteus model number 4, I think, is what it's, what it's all about. But it gives you a little tag on the end, which is great. I'm going to hit save and then um, let it do its thing. And that's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to take that file that I just exported, re-import it into Topaz, do the exact same process over again, 2x setting, that's going to yield me a 4K out, um, but with even better results. Thank you. I hope that helps somebody out there, and I hope it helps me to remember what the heck I did.